Hello, I'm Bood and I'm back from Benny Dorm as always. Thanks for joining me. It's massively appreciated if you're in a great mood, like I sort of am. Um, <laughs> feel free to hit that thumbs up, get involved in the comments, subscribe if you're new and hit that bell and you'll never miss anything I do. Like season eight, episode eight with Real Oviedo. Now, obviously I went away for quite a few days. I'm off all week. I've come back. I've played another season. This could be the last season. We're getting to the end of FM23. It's nearly FM24. But I was enjoying playing it, I did kind of miss it, and I thought, let's just do one more for me and for you, the hardcore that are left amongst us. Got loads to talk about. I'll tell you about my holiday during the live con, which could be great or it could be poo, as always, with Real Oviedo. But honestly, thank you for being here. So let's get into it. So I was away from Thursday to Monday, and I've been back Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, just play through this season. Um, had loads of other things to start out. It's now Friday, hopefully I can get it out today. Um, and I've enjoyed playing it, but obviously, being away and drinking as much as I drank, <laughs> I had to recap on last season. So I thought we could. Um, now, we finished third in the league, Real Madrid had another invincible season. Another one. I mean, that's the, the season before was invincible, the season before that they did lose three. But that's two years undefeated. Bonkers. We also had the final, the Copa del Rey final which had glimmers of hope, didn't it, early on? And then it all fell to shit. But you know, it was a successful-ish season. I brought in quite a lot of young players, you may remember, um, which I was quite happy with. And you know what? I was gonna do that again, because we're getting to that stage of the game when you've played this amount of years. They start to just fall on your lap for fun. Now then, we'll look at some of the ins and outs as quickly as I can. I'm pretty sure I'm doing it quickly. Now we got Peter Kosa, a wonder kid striker, 19 Slovak. From Fulham, right? Now he cost me money, 27 million going up to 30 million. But I had to take a gamble with this because I didn't have enough initially. This was towards the end of the transfer window or up until this point anyway. Um, and I had a lot of interest in Fernino who was worth 26 million. Nobody would pay that though. I ended up getting 16.75. He had a few clubs interested and he chose to go to Lazio. Now I know he's been a great player. But I've now got two wonder kid superstar young strikers and that's the way I want to go um, so I had to get this money from him just to push that deal through but they're not the only deals now you might remember we had Philip on the right wing on loan from Tottenham Hotspur couldn't get him right couldn't sign him and um, so he'd gone so we had a big hole on the right hand side I couldn't find anyone I liked on the right hand side but I did have a plan now this transfer was in the early stages and I spent my initial money a bit of it on him right again going up to 30 million this kid from Fulham Vladislav Kulik Ukrainian 20 year old wonder kid left footed left winger fantastic player but you know still needed a right winger so do you remember Nick Sargent you might not remember him I got him from Dortmund the year before he used to be a wonder kid 21 year old Australian not natural on the right wing at all but he's right footed I'm going to try and turn him, I was going to, going to try and turn him into a right winger. I sold my sort of defender, Matthias Flatmo, to West Ham for about eight and a half million. And I found myself another Brazilian centre half, Lima, 20 years old, um, 9.75 million minimum fee. Wonder kid, can use both feet. Buzzing with this one. Alex Scott, loved him, made him on loan, ended up signing him. He had moments of brilliance. Last year, he was crap, right? I got 20 million, a lot of offers from England. He's chosen to go to Wolves, big chunk of change, but he needed replacing. And I found Octavian Tanasi, 21 year old, not a wonder kid, Romanian, right? For 9 million, 9 million from Cluj. I think it was minimum fee. But he's got, he's got skills, hasn't he? First touch, technique, passer, decision making. Baller. Now this kid isn't special, look at his star rating, it ain't great. But I, my backup keeper, I've been winging it for a couple of seasons, young Spaniard, I've not got rid of him, I've just demoted him to the B team. I like this lad, he only cost me a couple of million. Um, I just like some of his skill. He's a big boy, determined, got great vision. Do you know what I mean? Can use both his feet. I know his star rating ain't great, but what I see on paper, it's a great backup. And that is it, but don't forget, we're getting a good team together here. So obviously Nick Sar Sargent is now back up there, but I was gonna play him a ton on the right. But I've still got Iban, 
who's a great young Spanish winger. We've still got Kang In Lee, who's a good player. He just sells so many shirts, it's untrue. Um, obviously, we've got the new left winger. We've still got Wilson, who gets a lot of interest this year. Um, won't sign a new deal. Then when he wants to sign a new deal, I haven't got the money to offer him the contract he wants. He wants to double his, his wages. So we had a little chat at some point during the season. I can't remember when it was specifically, but I do say to him, we'll sort it out at the end of the year. And he was happy with that. So, you know, I don't know if I'm going to do another season, but you've got to, you know, cover all the bases. Um, obviously, we've still got tennis in goal. Great keeper. Um, Petrov. I mean, wonder kid. Jeremy. The Spaniard. Uh, we've still got Leonardo. Is that the other Brazilian I got last year? He used to be a wonder kid. Uh, Ivan Garcia, the guy from my academy at centre half. Uh, Sesma, who's more of a centre half. But I've also got De Villette. Now we've also got Pozo, remember him? Uh, I couldn't get rid of him. Keep him in the squad. And I don't put him in the Champions League group, um, squad. He kicks off. A few other players kick off. Tough tips. Uh, in midfield, we've got Morgan Gibbs White, who City put a bid in for in January. Might move him on at the end. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't want to go through them all. He's decent. He's probably my best one in the middle. But I think we're younger again. I've added more talent. Uh, just can we go a little bit further? And do you know what? At some point, you do see signs that maybe something's happening. What's bonkers is the money. The money. Now, obviously, it's I probably balanced the books quite a bit, but still made quite a bit. And we're making good money. So the club's in a great spot now. We're not spending anything on anything like the stadium, the facilities or anything like that. And it is it's building up in that bank balance. Not that they're giving it me now to spend, but you know, I, I did push it and we have pushed it in previous seasons, but we're at such a great place here. If this series was like at the height of a game, I could take this 20 years, man. I think we could... The way it's going now, I can see the signs, the foundations are laid to keep doing what I'm doing with these young players coming in, the reputation of the club growing. I reckon I could go on and dominate eventually. But obviously we're so close to the beta, I think, that um, I don't know what to do. I mean, normally I make random videos at the end of the year, but I'm a bit tired. I've got so much to sort out. And I've worked hard this year. I mean, the journeyman took it out of me. I've done loads of stories this year, took it out of me. I just feel like maybe just, I know you understand if you're a hardcore sub, Maybe just chill out a bit. FM 24 hits. I'll let the ground run in. Promise. So we finished third last year and the bookies are looking at my team and saying, yeah, man, I've got the best striker in the league in Bilson and they've got us at third. I just wanted to, you know, still compete. I don't... Trying to beat a team like Real Madrid that hasn't lost a league game in two years. They're fantastic still. And um, Barcelona's still great. Still great teams in this league. I mean, if we can do well in the Copa del Rey, try and get deeper into the Champions League, we'll see. We'll see. Pre-season was okay. We had a training camp in England. Uh, why not? I like to go home, play Cambridge, and then we got beat off Fulham and Chelsea. You know, pre-season. And then we're on a tour to the States, played New York City, uh, FC Dallas, and uh, Austin FC. Do you watch a show called What We Do in the Shadows? I love it. Season five will be available on Disney soon. Best, one of the best TV shows ever. And one of the characters, Laszlo, it's the way he speaks. I can't, I was, that was my attempt at his New York City. I can't do it. But what a show. Check it out. You will thank me for it later. So then, me and my juicy staff had another season to get through. We've got another season to get through. Um, we're going to jump forward a little bit. Not far, actually. Because I want to show you something. Yeah, we're only jumping to the 4th of September. You can see I've played three. And I've won three, right? But you may notice that Real Madrid are in fifth and they'd lost one to me. Oh, look at this. Look at that. Eh? Whoever Leonardo is, got his goldness allowed. Then Vilsen, Kulik and Tanasi, two of my brand new players. Look at Tanasi. Don't even know what the kid, but he's got it on paper. I can't. So I'm so proud. I know we beat them once before in the Super Cup final, but I felt like I FM'd them. Look at the stats. I felt like we matched them and bettered them and deserved this one. I felt like this was brilliant. Honestly, I felt such a sense of achievement. But if we jump forward to the 1st of Jan 2030, you'll see they are back on top. But that invincibility cloak that they wore, it's come off, hasn't it? Because they've lost three now. Look. One to us, Real Valent Carnot, really? And who? Who has got who? I beat him as well. 
Wow. This could be our year. Look how close we are halfway through the season with the game in hand. Look how top. Number one striker in the league, second best player. So yeah, um, could this be the year? Well, I mean, look at that for a start. Obviously beating Real Madrid was fantastic. Followed that up oh, with a nil-nil draw. But yeah, look at the run. Look at the run. Trying to play sergeant right wing quite a bit. Don't always work out. Um, bad patch here where we drew with Atletico Club Bilbao, uh, Barcelona and Atletico Madrid beat us as well but then put another good run together recently we've been absolutely fan bloody trashtic the money's still great we can see that wage there wage is good shit so yeah that's why I can't offer any pay rises I can't remember who the other player was but Wilson was happy waiting I think there's another good young player who asked the same question as I said the same thing I promise you we'll sort it out into the season spies dummy out can't remember who it was you can see I've played him every game I've played him in on the right wing and he's starting to get his little dot there look so it's makeshift but, you know playing with them enough he's only 21 I could make him a fully fledged right winger here's the squad arranged by average rating you can see a lot of SPTs it's because of Pozo because I didn't put Pozo in the bloody Champions League squad who cares he's like my third string right back and I'd have sold him if anybody wanted him nobody wanted him um, but anyway yeah player wise new boys cracking is it why is he upset I can't remember Playing in a weaker role on the left wing, whatever. Uh, Wilson's wanted by everybody, <laughs> and at this stage, I'm pretty sure he won't sign a deal. Once the window finishes, he will, and then he says he'll wait. So hopefully, he's a man of his word. Let's jump forward a bit, though. It's now the first of April, and we'll look at the Champions League group. And I'm, I'm kind of disappointed with this, a little bit. Um, I really want to get in the top eight. That's all that matters. I don't think it matters about winning. You just got to get in that top eight so you can bypass around, which we've done in the past. With the worst teams. It's funny game. It's a funny game, isn't it? Um, I'm gonna show you on here. Uh, they're the games we won. So we beat Celtic 5-3, beat Shakhtar, beat Marseille and Juve 1 0 each, which is great. Uh, we drew three games, one against Dortmund, one against Bayern. That Michelin game was the killer. And it's Arsenal, Arsenal, yeah. Got beat off Arsenal. The final game, which dropped me down, so yeah, got to play extra games. And we drew Marseille uh, in the knockouts, who we played in the group stage. I think we beat them 1-0. Um, and we got beat 1-0 off them in the first leg and then smashed their French asses 0-1 at our place. Look at that. Lovely and jubbler. Next, it was Newcastle, YA man, uh, who we batted 4-2. Beautiful, beautiful scenes. But they batted me at St. James's. So was it 5-4 in aggregate? <sighs> Lapping I was. Got PSG in the next round. We'll see how that goes later. Well, what about the league? La Liga. Well, we're still second. We've still got a game in hand like last time. That if we win, we'd go top. You know, we are to going toe to toe with Madrid. There's a definite improvement in us. Is there was a little bit of a deterioration in them? Maybe. But that's what happens on these games. We're young and exciting and would only grow and get better. And I've got a list as long as my penis, which isn't very long with Wonder Kids for the future. So if I do do another one, we'll see. I'll see how many people remember this series exists. It's been over a week, a week and a day. We'll see. I might, I might play it anyway. Um, but you know, it's brilliant. That progression, feeling that sense of achievement, feeling like we're getting better. I do like it. And these are the games in the new year in the league. I haven't been beat. Look at that. Lovely. Look at that. Look at that. Also, look at that. Even... Uh, a draw against Real Madrid in their stadium is something to be fucking super proud of. Although I had to face them in the Super Copper. In the semi-final, they beat me. Hoyland. 2-1. And they went on to beat Barcelona, if you're interested, in extra time. 2-1 in the final. While we're here, quick look at the youth intake. It's been a bit average for a while, and apparently this was below average. But they've given me two decent players, especially like Xavi. I mean, if you look at his star rating, he's a player and a half, isn't he? He's not bad. He's only 15. Money-wise, it drops a little bit, but we're still okay. I'm still happy with it. Financially, we're in a good spot. It's just them wages. I'd like to have given Wilson a contract while I had that window of opportunity. I'm, I was I'm a bit worried because of the interest being shown in him. Because he is some player. I mean, not only is he my highest average rated player, he's got 33 goals already this year. Fantastic. Tanasi behind him, 17. Kosa, my backup striker, is pretty much a goal every game, although he's had 10 sub appearances. Uh, Kulik, the new winger, 
brilliant. Sargent's like dropped off, I know. Because I'm playing him as a right winger. And his little tiny red dot is now a little bit of an orange bigger dot. So we're getting there. Do you know what else we've got? The Copa del Rey final. Again, pretty tough with this, to be fair. Because um, I don't think we had the easiest of run-ins. First game, B-team that. Didn't B-team many others. It was a close call against Villarreal. Athletic Madrid can beat me at any moment. Luckily, it was a 2-1. Uh, we did Betis 2-0 at home and then a thriller, a 3-3 thriller um, in the second leg. But it's that. Done well against them in the league. We're definitely catching them. I mean, they beat me in the Super Copper semi-final. But we're still close, only 2-1. But I've just had flashbacks of the Copa del Rey final last year when it absolutely destroyed me. But is this a live come? Well, it may be or it may not be because obviously we're still in the Champions League against PSG who beat me 2-1 at their place, but we've destroyed teams in our stadium. Christ on a bloody bike. I mean, we come back. Disappointed, I'm not gonna lie. It is what it is, though, eh? Honestly, tennis, what a time to be shit. So it's cup final day, but we're also still in the league, although we have dropped off a little bit. Only lost two bloody games all year. I've lost less than Real Madrid. I've just drawn more. Um, and I've got two games in hand, don't get me wrong. Which what would give me 81 points if I win. It could go neck and neck and I was thinking, do we see how neck and neck it can go and do some kind of title deciding league game or do we just do the cup final? Well, I'm going to do the cup final <laughs> and then I'll play the rest of the season and see what's what. Which is quite a few games-ish. Get through this in an hour or two. Easy peasy. Um, no kids, no wife, so why not? Like I said, I mean, we haven't even got any real big boys, have I? I mean, we could do all right. Win them two games, I'm only a point behind them. I might, you know, do the cup final, see how it goes. If it's a nightmare, I might shorten it and then try and do a league decider. I'll, I'll see what I can do to share with you as much as possible. So let's just get to that cup final. Now, we are knackered. All right, and I had a look at what my system wanted, and he was pretty much putting out a B team. I'm taking risks. I don't care. I want good players on that pitch, even if they're not 100%, because it's Real Madrid, and they're still very good. Where? Oh, Declan Rice is in defence. Don't know where Jude Bellingham is. If you don't want him, I'll take him off your hands for free. So let's hope we don't concede seven. It's a possibility. But we've done all right against them this year. We've beaten them, we've drawn with them, and when they beat us in the Super Copa semi, it was only 2 1, so. You never know, I've got my young Brazilians playing at centre half. I think I've got a makeshift right back in because of injuries and major fatigue. It's Petrov. I've had a look. Petrov, the young left back, is the one who wants a new contract who spat his dummy out. Um, yeah, Jeremy's more of a centre half, but he can cover there. So, you know, Petrov, wind your neck in. I'll have more money in the summer. I'll sort your contracts out then, hopefully. Here he is, Jeremy. Come on, kiddo. Come on, let's get a good start. Sergeant playing out wide on the right. What's he go? Oh, penalty. No, Declan Rice has turned into Paolo freaking Maldini, apparently. Right, here they are. Boring, boring Real Madrid. I mean, again, even though we've done well and we're getting better and we're getting closer to him, I don't expect to win. There you go. Oh, come on, ref. Checking goal review. Oi! I'm going to demand a little bit more. So, yeah, obviously, I went to Benidorm. Four of us. All in our thought is it was brilliant. I can't lie. Uh, we got there. By the time we got to our hotel, checked in and that. We were right on the main strip. Um, we were out by 10 o'clock. Got in at 4 a.m. All absolutely hammered. Uh, got the next day. Three of us decided to like recover. Uh, one of my mates, who's a bit, got straight on the beer. All inclusive bar. He was bladdered again within an hour, obviously, topping up the alcohol. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Went down to the beach, went in the sea, it was amazing. Went to a few bars down there. I didn't really add a drink and then not a drink. Just pacing myself, wanted to go out again. And he went missing. So we got back to the hotel, we all got ready, couldn't find him anywhere. So we decided to stay in the hotel on a Friday night and then got to bed early, really. So on Saturday, got up feeling amazing. He's still nowhere to be found. All right, okay, I had breakfast, went to the pool, chilling out. And right, we're going to go out tonight, but we need to find him. Got to dinner time, he's still, we can't find him. Rocks up at dinner time. Don't know where he's been. He's absolutely like, on go over to shit. At one point, my other mate, Mark, 
who's going, oh, we're going to have to go to the hospitals and the police stations. And I'm thinking, he's ruining me all the day. We're grown ass men. He's a father. And what we've got to spend our weekend doing that. But anyway, he did show up. But still, anyway, I'll carry that on in a minute. It's nil nil. Probably maybe need to look at this fatigue. It's affecting us, isn't it? Right then, I've made a few changes, as you can see, uh, mainly for fatigue. Got a couple more subs left. Um, so that was it then, Saturday night. Three of us are feeling great. And I wanted to go down the old town this time, which was amazing, by the way. So we get down there, and the one who's been wrecked, the normal wreckhead, can't handle it. He has half a pint, feels sick, goes home. So he's, he's lost two nights now. My other mate, Jamie, who plays Wayne Kerr on Sky Sports News, you may have seen him, goes in the tattoo shop, has a tattoo, and then feels funny. He goes home, so it's just me and Mark. I thought, sod this, went down the old town, found this... Go, go, go! Oh! Best striker, not in the league, or the league, in the fucking world. Come on, Real Oviedo. Um, couldn't find a Real Oviedo shirt. Bloody millions of Jude Bellingham ones, by the way. I did buy... An LA Lakers top though. Anyway, um, oh, and I also got my oldest son. Go, go, go on, faggy. Go on. Fucking get right in. Get that ball in that net, you bastard. Yeah, the full black and pink uh, messy kit is going to a football party, so he needs a kit. Anyway, so me and Mark found a rooftop terrace in the old town. I mean, lovely vodkas, looking out on the ocean and all the hotels. It was beautiful. End up pissed. End up back in the party part near the strip. We get in at 5 a.m. So I was rooming on Sunday, chilled out, watched the football. It was great for football because half of us were United fans, half of us were City fans. Obviously, we had the 2-1 comeback, which was mental in a sports bar where I think me and my mate were the only United fans and everyone was booing us. So when I cheered in the 96th minute, I felt like I was going to get my head kicked in. I didn't. Um, and then we had City the next day and it was a joy. I know it was Arsenal, but it's just fun to see Man City get beat. So yeah, all in all, it was a great trip. To be fair, uh oh, Hoyland, 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 nice ball. Yeah, we're not stopping that. Two, one. Right, I've changed tactics and we're getting an instant highlight, which is worrying. I've gone for a defensive midfielder just mainly because of the sub options they had and the certain players that were tired. Uh, but Garcia's coming on in defence. Lima can play in defensive midfielder, so he's pushed forward a bit. We've got Kangley on the pitch as well. Um, and oh, fucking hell. Benadorm, I loved it. I thought it was brilliant, honestly. I don't know if I think we're past them all the days, though. Can't do four nights out on the beer, not a chance. And night out, day off, night out, day off. Um, but I'd love to go out with the kids and the wife. I think it's lovely. People slag it off. Yeah, that strip's a bit mental. And as soon as I walked on that strip, I was offered drugs. I was offered drugs all night on the strip. But that old town, the beach in the day, the sea, the weather, it was like 33 degrees. I liked it. I liked the shops. I liked everything. So yeah, good. And this is good. Shit, look at the time on that. Go on. <gasps> we've fucking, we fucking done it, we've done it together. We're, not only have we actually won a live con, I beat Real Madrid with you, you've seen it, with your own eyes, this is the turn of the tide. I wish more people were watching this, because maybe I have to do another one. So obviously I've won that before, but that one, you've got to admit, is way, way more special. And with this running now, could this turn the tide? Could it? Could they go on a slide? Could we just go boom, get confidence and win this league? Well, I'm going to play some games and see where I get to. Well, I've got to jump in now. I've played a couple of games. Um, I've just got to share this with you because it's getting exciting. Now, Real Madrid did have cut blues because they got annihilated off Valencia, but they have won the next two games back to back. Beating who? Don't know. Um, but what about us? We didn't have cup final blues. <laughs> okay. 8-0. Then 3 0, and then 0 0, unfortunately, and then 2 1. We've got an extra game now. If we win, we go level on points on. And remember from the Real Sociedad thing a few years ago, if we end up level on points, we'll win the league because we've beaten them and drawn against them in the league. It goes off games against each other first. Forget goal difference. I'm, I'm, I'm actually nervous. I've had to go make a coffee chill myself out well we may have bottle jobbed it I'll be honest with you my last game was against Villarreal and I got beat 2-1 we beat Celta 3-2 so you know we nearly did it I was top of the league at one point because of the games against each other Real Madrid are doing well it's going into the last game of the season I've got to win it Real Madrid I've got to lose it if that happens we'll win the league um, we've got Getafe who you know we should be beating to be honest they've got Celta who are in the bottom three you know, fighting for survival 
they could do it. I'm not going to live comment because I'm running out of time. I've got to go get me a little lad soon and I want to edit this video. So I'm just going to play it. I might jump in at the end of the game and we'll see. Do you know what? I'm going to jump in for replays and we'll, I'll put the league up. We'll see how Real Madrid are doing. Best I can do. I'll try and squeeze a bit in. Why not? At the minute, nothing's happened, but I hate it. I end up just concentrating on the Real Madrid result instead of looking at my own game. It's still nil-nil. Well, we've got a penalty. We're doing our bit. Keep it like this and Celta can pull a miracle out of their ass. We'll be all right. Well, we're definitely doing our bit. It's now 2-0. The crowd is going wild. So nervous here. It's like it could be so close. But Celta and Real Madrid are still... Nil nil. Although we're 3-0, so I mean job done on our part. We've done the best. That Villarreal game, you can gutted about that game, I'm not gonna lie, but it is what it is. It's now 4-0. I mean Can't ask for any more from the boys and Vilsa man, what a player. Still nil-nil with Celta and Madrid. Come on, Celta. Now 5-0, the Oviedo boys. Why couldn't Real Madrid be playing Barcelona away? <laughs> No, oh, no! Still seeing Celta winning one nil, and then bloody Veloso in the 90th minute. No, you fucking! I, I don't. Ah, ah. I don't think I've ever gone from instant absolute erection to flop on faster. I, I can't. I can't bloody believe that. Celta score in the 84th minute, and then Real Madrid bang one in. In the fucking honestly. I didn't think we had a chance, but there's that split second of oh, oh, oh man. Oh, do you know what? I'm off till I'm off not backing work till Tuesday. I really appreciate you coming back for this if you have. Um, because it has been a week and a day since the last episode, season seven. But when you get when when you achieve something like that, beating him in the final and then taking it to the freaking wire and almost for a split second winning that title. I've got, I've got to go again. I've got to go again, but I've got to wrap this up. I've got stuff I need to do, and I, I want to try and get this video out there. So thank you for coming back. Make yeah. sure you hit the thumbs up, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, all that stuff. Um, and let's just do one more, eh? Before this beta, let's squeeze one out, because there's a fucking great chance we could proper challenge them next year. I've got to have another goal. When you're that close, you've got to try and win the league, Anna. Let me know what you think in the comments, but thank you. I love you long time. I have missed you. Hopefully you've missed me. We're gonna go again, sorry, I've got now else to do. Nothing in my brain for Football Manager. Saving it all for FM24. So anyway, enough chitter chatter. I'll see you next time. Do not go missing, you beautiful person, you. I'm booed, bye-bye.